welcome to Train Simulator 2013 with Drifting Buffalo and Eddie the D. Hello, I'm eating biscuits. And he's eating biscuits because he's greedy. And we are on the Woodhead line this week at Sheffield Victoria Station. And we've yet to receive an instruction as to what to do, so I need to look at the task list. Might be smart. Pick up Nothing's passengers. Up. Tee! Hmm. Well, so, pick up passengers from where? From wh oh, I need to drive. That might help. What was I looking for? Ooh, it was corners. the Flying Scotsman DLC, wasn't yes, it? Yes, you were looking for the Flying Scotsman DLC. Let's see what they have. There it is. It's 11.99. 11.99. Is it black? Um, hang on. Yes. Why isn't my train moving? Mm, I or, always thought... Wait, wait, wait. I think there's another one. If there's a green one, that'd be officially awesome. I think there is. I had to turn the windscreen just, while because it's raining. Let me just look through all the, all the 110 DLCs again. Mm, yep. Cool. Yeah. Flying Scotsman add-on. This is just the normal one. And it's green! Eddie, my train won't move. What have you done? I don't know. Have you got the brakes on? I've turned it on. Have you got the brakes on? That link yep. is for the Flying Scotsman add-on if you want to have a look at it afterwards. Off. Oh, I know. I need to put up the little things that connect it to the electrification. Because you know they have the things that extend up off the roof. You have very technical Yes. I might have forgot that. So basically you were trying to go forwards when it you had no power. Yes. Okay. Nothing happened. Good. Oh, 66% off Star Wars franchise. Isn't that like £2 to it? It's two pounds twenty. I bought it, I think, in the winter sale, and I've barely got around to playing it. I probably should. So I've heard good things about it. There we go. Look at that. Nice wood headline. Uh, I do like this line. I'm not gonna lie. It's quite nice. Right. So, what have you been up to in the last week, then, in other the than your week, one exam? I have been up to nothing. I good. Pretty much. Good. I've, um, yeah, when did I have my exam? I had my I exam it... after we recorded, didn't I? Yes. Yeah, because it was in the week, wasn't it? Yeah, I thought it yeah. was sort of like Tuesday or something, you did it. Yeah, oh yeah, it was on Tuesday. In that case, the exam went well. Which I was surprised about, but there we go. Right, let's get oh. some, maybe some power. And other than that, I've just been relaxing, really. Done nice. A bit, done a bit of revision for my next exam. How did how did the first exam go? Well or Yeah, I think so. I think so. You reckon you're gonna pass? Yeah, I reckon I pass. Probably haven't got the best grade possible, but enough to pass, which is what actually technically that's all you need for the first year of uni. So long as you it's pass, it's irrelevant whether you just pass or get an A star. Because none of it like carries on to the next place, does it? No. No. Anyway, what have you been up to? Anything interesting? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Basically, we were given our next sort of project at college, and it's for in the TV studio. Ooh, okay. And we had a sort of our first go at trying to work, like just practice, sort of run through of how the different like things work in it. Yeah. And I was directing, but I had no idea what the script was. So like, it was like, okay, go to this. Hey, on no, what are we doing next? What is this? Oh, the sound. No, <laughs> count in now. How do we? And then we didn't know how we were better stop because we hadn't like organized a signal that was going to be yeah. the stopping signal. So, <laughs> and then we were trying to like, then the person that was like meant to be given the signal was the floor manager. She sort of yeah. walked across, pulled the headphone wire out. All of us get deafened by this. <laughs> 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 and then it was a disaster. Sounds uh, interesting. Yes. Luckily, I'm not going to be directing on when we actually come to do the proper project. I'm going to be doing the vision mixing, which is basically just picking which cameras shown on the uh, on sort of the screen. That's uh, okay. Is that it's, a little, it's a bit more like editing, and I no, I'd say I'd say it's easier. Just okay. Yeah, I prefer doing that stuff as well. So I suppose that kind of thing would vary from person to person, though, because some people might think a shot is better from one angle. Yeah, I mean, because we're doing, we're going to be doing like our one, our project is going to be sort of a news sort of thing. So it's just making sure you've got the um, camera on the right person 
like you've got the right person sort of one shot. Oh, okay. like the person speaking, you got to make sure that you can see them. Or would that just be really awkward? Which unless probably. you, yeah, unless you have sort of someone's reaction shot as well, then you can use that. But. Like, <gasps> slow motion gasp kind of thing. Maybe not slow motion, but. You can now speed up to 70 mph. And this doesn't it have a passenger view. You can't view yourself in the train itself. <laughs> Oh, that sucks. Which train are you in today? I am in... I don't know. I have no idea what it is. Can I sit and have a look? I might be able to look at the map. Let's have a look. Centre player. So... No, that doesn't say what kind of train I'm in. I'm in, I'm in the one that comes from the Wood Headline expansion pack, though. Let Just me look it up for you! Yeah. Do -do -do -do. This train's extremely slow and so I don't probably have to slow down for it to the next station. Good headline. Whoa! What the? Woodhead. Wood headline is twenty-five pounds normally, dude. I think I got it for sale. That's when I. Mm -hmm. All DLC is half price for this picture, so. Yeah. That's when I picked up the Great Western Mainline one, which yeah. is. It's got so many different bits in. Ooh, okay. Eight. Wait, are you in it? No, you're not in a steam locomotive, are you? Nope, I'm in a black one. There's a diesel shunter, which is a class 8 diesel shunter in BR black. Yeah, we're electric, I think. That's what I thought you said. It's a class 76 electric locomotive. That sounds about right. Maybe even says the sun. No, it just makes you shut my ways. It's quite cool. I think, yeah, it's specific to the I'll probably pick up some more DLC in the next team cell, so there'll be even more videos to watch. Yeah, I don't know what, like, how much has actually been bought out recently. I haven't been sort of paying that much attention, because on my Steam I've got DLC sort of not popping up, like, and the new releases thing. Because it takes up so much room normally. Let's see. Oh, hang on. 2nd of May, the BR Class 101. Yeah. <laughs> so that's another train they've released. I'm not sure about routes, though. I'm I'm just keeping up with it, to be honest. I probably should have, okay. but... I'm gonna have a look through now and see if I can find. Okay, I'm sure yeah. we'll have some upcoming stuff. There we go, it looks like we're on track to stop as well. Which is rare for me, I'll look at that lorry going to bridge. It mostly just seems to be lots of different trains and not necessarily lots of routes. Ah, uh, I suppose... Oh, there's one! More 11th of April, the Marius Pass. That's the most recent one released. Oh, it looks really pretty. Does it? Oh, it does, yeah. Well, I might have to have a look at that afterwards. You okay, will. We're only one minute late, and we've actually stopped the length. Oh, these doors are cool. I like the way these doors open. They sort of swing outwards, like a regular door rather than have sliding doors. That's quite <laughs> neat. I was going to say, they're not like gull wing doors that sort of float up <laughs> instead. Yeah, that would be cool for a train, that I'm not going to lie. I don't think we need the windscreen. Oh, that's cool. The windscreen wipers, there's a little uh, sort of handle on the left that you have to turn to turn them on and off. That's quite neat. Nice. Right. The next station is in 1.8 miles. Go. Get some real slippage. Okay, let me talk to you about the Marius Pass, tell you what it is. Okay. Spectacular scenery and large sweeping curves through the Rocky Mountains are just some of the features of Marius Pass. It's 152 miles as Montana route, and it was charted by an engineer in 1889 it reaches more than 1500 meters at its summit so it's quite tall and it comes with let me see trains we have GEES 44 DC locomotive in BNSF heritage livery not really sure what that one is but no and a Burlington Northern EMD SW 1500 switcher Along with some cars and stuff. That actually sounds quite interesting. It does. There's a trailer. I might watch that in a minute. But if it's in yeah. a Steam sale, then yes, I'll definitely buy that. I think I think I still need to do a Donna Pass. I don't know if I've done a Donna Pass yet. I'm sure we must have done at least one by now. We've done so many. All the scenarios are like two hours long, though. Maybe I'll just do a um, what's it called? Free roam for an hour or so. 
Or maybe we'll have to sit down and just, like, and just power through one. Power through, yeah. And try not to hate each other by the end. <laughs> like better. I've had enough of you. Yeah. I think the longest one's about five hours. You must be really and dedicated to the game. That's like, yeah. Oh god, we're going to be late to this station as well. Oh, James. James. Sorry. James. Just go straight through it, that's the easiest way. We're supposed to arrive in 30 country. seconds, but we're still a mile away. Ah. Well, hopefully they don't mind too much. It just shows how easy it is for trains to get behind schedule, you see? Because I'm not paying attention, I'm just going. It takes forever to accelerate, we're only up to Not one of the fastest trains in. Maybe if I dump a few of the carriages, I only have one carriage, I have an express train. <sighs> it depends how many people you have on your train. Because it's like, I don't think there's any way of checking, is there? No. That's it looks... Yeah. Mm. So, what did you think of the Call of Duty Ghost trailer? Ghost trailer. Ah, that looked weird. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, what the balls is this? Loads of people with masks, and then the main guy. Who I, I don't even know his name. Is his name? I think his name is actually Ghost. Well, that's his nickname. And I, I. God, I'm I gonna just... stop. Emergency <laughs> brakes. Um. Let's hope this works. I don't know, I haven't looked that too into it because I never re- I, The last Call of Duty I had was World at War, so that's a long time ago. World at War was still a good one though. I had it on the Wii as well. It was the- yeah, it was the first one to go on the Wii with multiplayer. Uh, did you first play Call of Duty. Were you any good? Um, reasonable, I think. I did actually play it quite a lot. But then Guitar Hero 3 and stuff, and I just played that so much more. Ah, uh, okay. I am actually really good at this game. I just applied the emergency brakes, thinking I was going to overrun the station. It stopped perfectly. Yes, but applying the emergency brakes isn't really what you want to be doing all the time, and that poster's going to fall down. Give me a second. Well, we've got a lot of stations to... I don't know, we've got a few stations. We've got a big gap between one. Okay. okay, and passengers are on, brakes off, accelerate. Oh, my curtain's going crazy. Why Wait. is it so weird? <laughs> yes. If, uh, stop it. Stop doing it's waves at me. Such nice weather. Can't even it open is. the window. Yeah, open the window. Who cares about going outside? That's just for losers. <laughs> Three annoying me, but just the way the, like, in the uni like courtyard, the way it's shaped sort of directs all the wind all the wind into like the <laughs> corner where my window is. So if <laughs> I open the window, it's always a massive breeze. It just kind of makes everything in my room go everywhere. Yeah, luckily I have windows both sides of my room, so I can be like, hmm which side do I want open? Where's the wind? Yeah, it's quite nice. It is quite nice having a breeze sort of going through though, sometimes. Is that return ticket part two? I don't know. I'm sorting out thumbnails for the old videos and I'm trying to make sure them oh, yeah. they're okay. Yeah. I don't think any of my videos have thumbnails. No, it's fine. I've just added one for the one you uploaded like an hour ago. Oh, okay. That's part two of this last video. Yeah. Go watch it, people, if you haven't already. Yes, and also. Coming up soon will be GTA in a form you. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm doing GTA 4 with um, someone from college, and basically it's the multiplayer free roaming. We recorded for two hours last night, yep. and I don't know how I'm gonna make highlights because almost the entire two hours is highlights. Because <laughs> it's, it's all just so crazy. Just upload one, well, not one, but a few longer videos. I, I don't know though, it's just. Because like we got planes and well actually no not planes got all the helicopters, helicopters and stuff yeah. yeah 
It's crazy. You basically the story mode. I don't know. I I don't think you can do the story online, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, I, don't but I could single player it, but I don't know. Let's see. Have you seen the uh, GTA 5 trailers? Mm, not yet, no. But it hasn't been announced for PC still. I. It's kind of silly. I don't know. I don't even know if they're releasing it on this generation of console or next. Well, it's meant to be coming out, what, October time, I thought? Um, September 15th, I believe. But well, consoles are normally... I thought they'd be later, because they... Consoles release in time for... What's it called? Um, Thanksgiving. Yeah, the holiday season in America. Thanksgiving and, obviously, Christmas. Yeah, I think it's like between... November. When is Thanksgiving, anyway? I thought it was in November sometime. Let's check. Check. Thanksgiving. It's either November or the beginning of December. There we go. This yeah, here we go. This um year it is the twenty eighth of November. Twenty eighth of November. So I have a sudden urge to cook some chicken. I thought it was turkeys. It's turkeys on Thanksgiving, not chicken. Yeah, but I was thinking I don't have turkey, what do I have? And I remember I still have some chicken in the fridge. So I might go cook that in a bit. Just, just make sure you finish the mission first and don't just leave I, the I will. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not that hungry. I only ate breakfast about an hour ago. Because my sleeping pattern is just 